So hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. My name is Marjia Tuba. I am six years old. I am here in Tissel, Bangladesh. I am a Tissel student and I learned the English just like with my boss. My boss is Mahmoud Yasir and he is my teacher. And from him, I have learned English. Thanks for my boss. So I really enjoyed today's class of my boss and it was very exciting. There were a lot of things to write, but I don't know how to write. So only my boss told me that I can just see what to just write or read. So I just told still and my boss always help me even when I go home I have another boss it's my dad he when I don't know how to study he just helps me and my favorite subject is drawing because it's my favorite subject and when I was small I couldn't draw because my hands were very small that time and I could just draw like these zigzags just like that. And I ruined all the pages one by one. And now I know how to draw properly. Now I'm at the night, something just terrible happened. When my auntie and my mom was talking, when my, me and my two sisters were lying down in the bed playing. Suddenly my, my first sister felt a little, a little sleepy, so my auntie just, make her sleep and then the other sister wanted to sleep too so she also sleeped but when my auntie just wiggled her feet and then this happened a earthquake suddenly just just started to open wait and it started to shake this way that way i I was just sleeping. I didn't feel anything in my body. Then when my mom just shouted, I suddenly woke up and I didn't know what was happening. So my mom and my aunt carried my two little sisters and they went on the pillar. Then my mom was shouting and she was told me to come beside my mom. I just walked and I didn't, I just ran to my mom. I didn't know what was happening. I thought that they were doing acting, but when I stepped in the pillar, I heard some noise and I thought that this was an earthquake happening. I stayed calm, I didn't do any shouting. Why my mom and aunt just cried and cried, they were very scared. But then when I was feeling very scared of this earthquake, my head started to spin. Even my mom's, my aunt's, even my two little sister's ones. I mean, they were asleep. That's why they didn't feel anything. So my head was always just spinning. And then my dad came with that pretty bottle just for me and also for my sisters too. So my daddy came and my aunt, my mom, even me started to told everything what happened. So I just panicked down and then I told everything what happened. Even my mom and my aunt started to be a little calm by telling everyone and they, the hurricane, I mean, the earthquake stopped. And when the earthquake stopped, the electricity, the electricity went gone. Then my dad suddenly came knocking at the door. My, my aunt and me was sitting in the bed with my two sisters. Mom was leaving, but me and my aunt was scared because we didn't have lights. Then my mom, I mean me and my aunt started to scream. And then mom said that you can come too. We leave my sisters and then mom, Mom, me, and my aunt started to be calm, carefully, and I told, even my aunt and my mom started to told everything what just happened. So my dad just, then the electricity was gone when my dad was here. So, thank you for learning my video, but if you wanna see my more videos, just 
search for my name. You can just search for my name, or maybe if you don't search my name, it will not come. But only you can find all my videos inside Mukto Kids. So if you want to watch my more videos, just go to Mukto Kids, and then you'll find all my videos when I was small. Even when I saw black, black, black sheep when I was small. And I told so funnily that Baba Black Sheep, it was really, really funny. So thank you for learning my video. So bye-bye, Tara.